Hello and welcome to a very special StarCraft Brute War Micro Tournament where uh, not players are competing against each other, um, it's AI versus AI, artificial intelligence, bots against bots, um, where computer science students, um, programmers compete in a weekend long tournament. The map and the unit composition was revealed on uh, Saturday morning and we, we had time to program the bots until 18 o'clock then the competition started and yeah let's ha uh, have a look on the map and the units which were available so everyone has the same setup of units it's a few marines, uh, medics, goliaths, one tank, one ghost a battlecruiser, science vessel the rafts and two shuttles and that's all we got and let's go to the rules so now at last uh, we get to the rules from this tournament um, they are a little bit special uh, it started at 8 a.m. at Saturday um, the unit composition was revealed and the map and uh, the programmers had 10 hours to prepare their bots at 6 p.m. at Saturday and at Sunday the competition starts and every bot plays against every other bot and makes points. Um, when one bot totally destroys the other bot uh, he gets 3 points uh, he has to destroy every uh, enemy unit in uh, less than 5 minutes um, if after 5 minutes it's not over um, the bot who scores more than 2000 points more than the other bot gets 2 points, the other one, uh, the other bot won and if they both are very close in the points they each get 1 point. The Sunday points from the competition are multiplied by 4 plus the Saturday points um, equal the end result. So now we know, know everything we have to know and we can go into the action. On the, on the left side is uh, my bot, it's called Wopper. It uh, stands for War Operation Plan Response and is taken from movies from the 80s uh, against the Blue Terran Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. Now let's see how they do. Um, to remember, it, we had only 10 hours time to program the bot, so the unit movement is very simple. They just attack move the enemy position in my case and try to minimize the range they ha um, have to the tank. Uh, if they get too far ahead they just walk back to the tank. It uh, looks a little bit silly but it's uh, for the short time I focused on other things and yeah it works uh, quite nice. So and we are very close to the to the engagement and now it's starts siege and sieges the um, science vessel gets an EMP off on the medics uh, defensive matrix on the enemy uh, battlecruiser um, no Yamato cannon yet but here's the lockdown on the battlecruiser so he can't do anything he tries to lock down mine but it's instantly cleansed um, everything fights and fights but his battlecruiser is still on lockdown he tries to lock down again but it gets cleansed again my uh, science vessel tries to get out of the danger zone but tries to uh, provide detection and um, his battle cruiser is on lockdown all, uh, all the time so the DPS for my units is much greater and I crush his forces quite convincingly. So now it's, yeah, that seems a little bit um, dumb or funny um, how cautious they are um, with cleaning the rest up. But my main goal was to win the main fight, so there is not much code which says, yeah, if you have one, just kill him. So it's a little bit, uh, takes a lot, little bit of time, but I get every single unit and win this game so I get a three points lead from this first game let's get over to the next and here's the next game it's uh, again me against uh, Nick Sony he, he uh, also won his uh, first game 
So let's find out which one's the better bot. My air units are really a little bit dumb about flying always this direction. Uh, I should have made an attack point here as middle point, but yeah, it was really, really close. I worked on my bot uh, until the last uh, two minutes um, before the competition started. So let's see now. The engagement is near, and there it is. My units are in a really bad position because they are in a very big line. My science vessel doesn't do that what it should do, but I get a battle cruiser in lockdown, and he also didn't implement the restoration on his battle cruiser. So that's working for me at least, but many units just go down. Uh, ooh, my science vessel does hit another EMP on the on the Terra Medics, which helps a lot, and it's still alive, which is also great. The Yamato can, for whatever reason, doesn't work, but I uh, in the spoiler, uh, in the next day competition it will, hopefully. And as you can see, my sieged up tank and lockdown battle cruisers is enough to wipe the floor and take all his uh, units. So <laughs> it's only the battle cruiser left which survives, but he's on lockdown, so he's no harm, and I have enough units for everything. As you can see the shuttles didn't uh, really have a purpose but they took a lot of damage which is good for me because they... yeah. That was really important. So also the second game goes to, to Whopper and let's see if my winning streak takes all. And here's the next game. This time my bot plays the blue Terran and my enemy is E4, the red Terran, and let's see what happens this time. He gets really out of himself with those two vultures, but my tank for some reasons doesn't siege up, which is a bad sign because it shouldn't happen, but very I I get locked down on his but oh, this is bad. My units just fly and walk into my opponent. So, where is everything and why on earth? I don't know what happens here, but uh, it seems like my tank is dead, and with a dead tank, there are maybe some null pointers for. Uh, the fellow programmers <laughs> and now let's see uh, battle cruiser is fighting without the enemy battle cruiser which is good but I guess he's going to die to the firepower of two Goliaths and ten Marines. Uh, there's only one SCV repairing and he's uh, the two Goliaths are gone and he's going below 50 HP but he's still holding strong my minerals and my gas is getting low but they are all, oh my god there's only 30 <laughs> 20 HP our second SUV is repairing and only two marines left one marine left what the fuck and yeah now well, I at least have won this battle, but for some reason some of his units are here and his full battle cruiser is hunting down my science vessel. So technically he should win this map. I'm gonna fasten this up. And now his battle cruiser, if he finds my battle cruiser, it's game over. But it looks like he's moving, yeah, he's attack moving my position. My units do weird stuff. Dancing battle cruiser, oh yeah. He's spinning like. Uh, 
I don't want to make a bad pun. But yeah, um, you see the timer went to zero, we didn't kill each other, we are both in range, 2000 points was the threshold, and so everyone gets one point. And that's very lucky for me, because I should have lost that. So, let's see what the next game does. So, in this game I'm again the blue Terran against the red uh, player cubes. And, whoa, this seems bad for me at least, because he's taken the high road. And... Yeah, we will see how the engagement uh, will go down because I will, my bot will surely take this road, and okay, his tank is moving another way than his other forces. But lucky for me, my bot is so slow and his is so fast that lots of units um, engage before his main army is there, and this should be easy to clean clean up but you never know when two artificial <laughs> intelligence fight each other because they are really fast but sometimes uh, much more dumber than you would expect so but it looks like I can clean up this I hope this tank <laughs> closes the distance soon um, everything looks like, yeah, I'm really dominating this fight, so... There should be three points in the bag. And, yep. That was a f really fast game, one and a half minutes. So, let's see if there's... it's working really in nice so far for my bot. Let's see whether he uh, goes on. And this here is the first rematch. It's this time Iron Fist is uh, the red Terran and my bot's the blue Terran and this bot uh, seems also quite uh, doing quite well um, in this tournament. So we are tied 10 points to 10 points and the last match was quite close, so let's see what happens if we s switch the tables. Um, me coming from the right and uh, he comes from the left. The usual dancing around the center of the units go is going on and... There, oh there's the defensive matrix, very early. On the battle cruiser, revs go down instantly. Yamato can on my battle cruiser. Um, my science vessel is down, but is luckily my battle cruiser is not too far from the ground, so the restoration still works. He is again on lockdown, and it seems like it's going to work out for me again. Um, doesn't matter which side I'm for. Un at least for this day, my bot prevails. And yeah, sounds, seems like I will get my three points from this one. But remember, this is Saturday uh, competition. It only um, counts once. Um, the Sunday competition, where the programmers have more time to prepare. Oh, my Yamato goes off. Nice. Um, where the programmers have more time, more time, um, will count four times. So it's not over yet, and it's only a three-point lead at this point. So we have to wait and see how this works out. And let's go into the next game. So. And and now the last game for today, um, it's a regame, e against me. In the meantime, I got two free wins because the bots crashed while playing against me. That's why I got 19 points. And uh, the last game against e was a draw, which was very lucky for me, because he didn't find my last units. And yeah, let's see what happens this time. I'm much more clumped up. This is nice, and let's see how it turns out. 
lockdown on the on the shuttle is really bad, but the main engagement takes place without his battlefielder. But yeah, it's still anyone's game. Luckily his tank doesn't siege and yeah. I don't know, it's too close to call. But our battle cruisers are roughly the same HP. It has one really lucky ref. And it seems like the crowd battle goes to A4, but my battle cruiser gets repaired like crazy and is ignoring the other battle cruiser, but uh, this tank should fall any second. Yeah, it's down and now it's his battle cruiser has a little bit more HP and he has a ghost on the ground. My battle cruiser has less HP and it's really important that he, does he, that he doesn't die because he's the only unit who can... St but the repair seems to work and my battle cruiser has more HP than his and from here on it should be my game, yeah. And this is we will be cleaned up, but uh, somehow uh, his shuttle got to my starting position and I'm afraid that my units don't don't look there for the rest of the game. My science vessel does something strange. Um, in I can spoil that uh, in the, the next day at the Sunday competition I will implement um, that my units uh, when they arrive here will go back to my starting position per attack move but f for sat Saturday I didn't make it oh that was really close my minerals my gas are on zero so no more repair but at least um, I get a partial win because I guess I have 2000 points more than my enemy and yep so I close uh, this day uh, with 21 points and I give you the results for the Saturday competition in a second. So these are the results for um, the Saturday competition. I got a lead of 5 points, but remember that at Sunday every point um, is uh, multiplied by 4, so it's not over and I guess we will uh, see much higher quality games tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this um, special tournament and tune in when I upload the Sunday version. Have a nice day. Bye bye.